Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. We're doing another Irish review. We're kind of another. on an Irish ah, kick right now. I, I'm not going to lie, I love Irish whiskey. It's fantastic, it's consistent, it's sweet, it's happy. And <laughs> it's we're just, happy. It, there's just everything good about Irish whiskey. This particular one coming at you is Red Breast. We did a Red Breast cask strength already hasn't come out yet it's going to be coming out pretty soon it might have been when you see this video this is just the regular <laughs> old standard 12 year red breast irish whiskey it's coming in price wise at 61 61.95 60, or something yep. our area. so on sale right now for 60 and some change I don't feel so like i paid that much for it it doesn't seem like it but i got my I stimulus check did. so i didn't care yes spending that money yep. Thank you, Uncle Joe. Yeah. Oh, hey, <laughs> I got an Uncle Joe. He's awesome. Great nose. Red breast is are they such finished? a good... Is it finished in the sherry cast? I think most of their products are toasted with sherry undertones. Uh, matured toasted oak and sherry. So I think that's kind of one of their standard things. Bushmills is another one that finishes their whiskey with um, other casks. So oh, yeah, I was thinking of Bushmills. Uh, Irish is such a soft whiskey. So when you finish it with other um, wine barrels, it just picks up picks lot, up yeah. that really really well. Actually, it's got a great no good color, nice medium kind of light honey. Um, let's see about the legs. I almost, almost nice. get like a flower, like a rose smell. Oh, really? Boy, the legs are really slow. Look at that. Really slow. Really slow. <laughs> Which could be an indicator that it's going to linger on the palate. It's a little more oily. Sure hope so. Um, so you're going to get those flavors that will linger a little bit even after you swallow it. Green apple. Little orange. Oh, yeah, I get the orange, the little citrus. Or yep, that citrus, orange, lemon, maybe that yep. zest. Lemon pledge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm ready to try it. You getting any oak? I got no. a little oak. Nope. A little bit of wood, that oak. I, I mean, I could see it, that, but yeah. it kind of blends in with all that other fruity mm -hmm. notes, the, the citrus. The citrus is definitely dominant. Yeah. Should we give it a try? Yes, we should. Cheers. 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 Cheers, buddy. That's kind of a whole lot on them. No, it's kind of kind of bland at first. Mm -hmm. There was a little. It felt creamy at first. Mm. Here we go. I'm getting more flavors now. That first one, I almost didn't get anything. No, a little bit of alcohol burn. What's the proof? I didn't. I didn't tell y'all what the proof was. Uh, the proof 80, is right? forty percent. That's what I so, said. So, um, proof on it is eighty. Eighty. So, it seems um, hot for eighty. It does. It does seem kind of hot for eighty proof, which the cask strength seemed really hot, but I'm getting more. After the next sip or so, right. I'm getting more of the grape and the uh, both sherry undertones, I think. What else am I getting? There's something else in there. Yeah, that the, sh the wine note. Yes. That yes. dry wine note is very noticeable. The Irish grape notes there. <clears throat> some of the citrus zest is there. You getting that on the palate? Yeah, I am. And then there's a dry kind of mid palate, kind of a drying sensation. Okay, I got citrus now. And the I almost got a little honey. Yeah, yeah. 
And then the finish is pretty quick, actually. Yeah. I thought it would be because... It's hot, though. And the mm -hmm. initial, it's got a lot of... It feels like a lot of alcohol burn. It does. For an 80 proof, I wonder why that is. I don't know. Maybe it's it could be the... Maybe the balance with it <laughs> could be. Um, but I'm getting the same thing. We both had clam chowder. He had chicken strips. I had a burger. So. Body like this. <laughs> that's how you dip your, dip your chicken, chicken strips chicken in chicken clam chowder. That, that's how winners do it. But I thought the finish would be longer because it goes the legs were quick. so slow. I really thought well, you said it would a be dirty more. glass. I did rinse it out with toilet water. So. You weren't looking. I did stuff to it. <laughs> the the grape notes now it's are not really so hot. strong. Maybe no, we had a couple drinks. Yeah, yeah, grape. I get a lot of grape. All of that red grape, but I do get some. There's some honey. There's some citrus. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe um, you know, like that soft um. Peach fuzz, that peach when you bite into a fresh peach, yeah. that kind of there's a little stone fruit. Yeah, we'll just call it stone fruit. Stone there's a stone fruit. fruit. Is that really what it's called? Mm -hmm. yeah. Peaches, nectarines, oh, apricots. Stone in the middle. Correct. Is that really why? That is. Oh man, I just correct. pulled that out of my hat. <laughs> so I'm a produce guy here, but yeah, that is. I get that. It's a good whiskey. It's good price. A little, a little high. high. Yeah. I thought it was a little high. I figured forty bucks. I thought yeah. I paid less for it. It seems like you did, but. The website it wasn't. Wasn't it was on sale. Huh. Oh mm -hmm. well, it's so, a good whiskey. Sixty but I, bucks. I don't, know. I don't know if I'd go sixty bucks again. I'd pay forty-five. I like having it in my collection. Absolutely. I think it's a good whiskey, but it's been around a long time. Um, it has a huge following. Red Breast. Yeah. Most of y'all out there that are drinking it's whiskey good. are probably Definitely. Red it's Breast not like, fans. It's not a bad whiskey mm -hmm. at all. There's so many great Irish whiskeys, and we've really been on an Irish whiskey kick lately. It has been St. Patrick's Day. We just passed that holiday. So, I mean, I've been drinking a ton of Irish yeah. whiskeys and really enjoying them. We've got some more reviews coming your way, uh, some more Bushmills stuff and, as well. Ooh. So, I, I give it a thumbs up. It's yeah, a good whiskey. Yeah, for sure. Um, if there's especially, any if you, especially if you like you like good Irish. It's got more depth than your standard Irish whiskey. Yes, I agree. So there's much yeah. more character to it than mm -hmm. a Jameson or... Well, I don't even know about Bushmills. Cause yeah, that Bushmills is being solid. <laughs> um, but your regular run-of-the-mill, the, the bottom-shelf Jameson, this is definitely a step above Correct. that. A couple steps, yeah. really, because it's got more of the... Uh, red grape notes. It's just not a really one-dimensional. There's a couple things going on. Right. So you can pick it's them good. out. Uh, price, a little high. I think it's a little high for so. what you're getting. Um, water might... I don't know if water is going to do anything because it is already 80 proof, but sometimes when you drop a little water in there, it enhances some of the other flavors and detracts some of the others. So yep. you just never know. <clears throat> um, I would recommend it, though. Yeah, me too. I think it's a good it whiskey. Up. We hope y'all... Are drinking with us we hope y'all are hitting that subscribe. subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you're not go ahead and smash that subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything it just helps us grow as a channel which we are growing we're pushing towards that 3,000 mark um, of course in our videos there's always the clickety clack of dogs <laughs> or barking this is blue yeah so it is blue um, <laughs> I really got nothing else, no. do you, buddy? No, nope. it's good whiskey. It's a good whiskey. Recommended by Durbin's Bourbon. As always, enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons any, any way you like. like. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Cheers, pal.